Over the years I've made lots of cakes, but nothing quite like this. Let's make some chocolate mud cake on the One Pot Chef. <laughs> Let's make our chocolate mud cake. First things first, in a saucepan I've got 250 grams of butter which I've just chopped up. Now that sounds like a lot of butter but trust me, we're making chocolate mud cake here. This isn't health food so don't panic. And to that I'm adding in 200 grams of dark chocolate. I'm just using buttons but any dark chocolate will do. You can just chop up a block if you like. And please try to use dark chocolate. I know some people have an aversion to it because they think it's not as sweet as milk chocolate but trust me, Dark chocolate is perfect for this. I'm adding sugar later, so believe me, it's gonna be sweet enough. And over a low to medium heat, we're just going to allow this to melt together. I'm just gonna keep it stirring for about three to four minutes or until it's nice and smooth. The butter and the chocolate are nicely melted and to that I'm going to add in one cup of cold water and two cups of caster sugar or super fine white sugar. It sounds like a lot, but again, we're making a mud cake, so calm down. <laughs> I'm just going to stir that together over the medium heat until it's all melted together. That's looking good. So all we need to do now is turn off the heat and we'll just take the saucepan off the stove and allow it to cool for about five to ten minutes. I've transferred the chocolate mixture into a large mixing bowl and to that I'm going to add in two eggs, which I've just lightly beaten in a cup and just mix those in. Next we're going to sift in our dry ingredients. There's one cup of plain flour, one cup of self-raising flour. Now as I've said in many videos if you don't have self-raising flour you can simply use plain flour and add in one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm also adding in a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder just for a little extra chocolateness. And just stir everything together. And what we have is this delicious thick chocolate batter. Look at that. I think we're just about ready to put this in our cake tin. I've lined a 22 centimeter spring form tin with some baking paper and just lightly greased the tin so the paper will stick. And we're just going to pour our batter in. And our chocolate mud cake is ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven 180 degrees Celsius for about 45 to 50 minutes or until a skewer inserted into the center comes out with a few moist crumbs clinging to the skewer. Our mud cake is out of the oven. You leave it in the tin for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool before transferring it onto a wire rack to cool completely. Now we can work on our chocolate ganache. To make our ganache I've got 200 grams of dark chocolate in the saucepan and to that I'm adding two thirds of a cup of thickened cream. You can use heavy cream or some kind of cream suitable for whipping basically. I'm going to put that in there and over a low to medium heat we're just going to slowly stir this together until it's all melted and smooth. That's just about there, that's looking good. So we can switch off the heat and we will transfer this into a small bowl and then just allow it to cool. It'll get nice and thick as it cools and then we'll be ready to spread this onto the cake. I had a bit of a minor accident when I was putting the cake onto the plate and I sort of cracked it slightly but that doesn't matter because chocolate ganache will cover up a multitude of sins and here we go. And last but not least, a generous sprinkling of some freshly grated milk chocolate. And that is looking absolutely gorgeous. Now we can just allow the ganache to set. You can either put it into the fridge or just leave it out on the counter in a cool spot. And then we'll be ready to slice it up. Let's have a taste. Oh, beautiful and moist. Oh my god. Mmm. It's absolutely the moistest mud cake you will ever eat. It is so beautiful. It's still slightly warm, so it's got that almost pudding consistency to it. Yum. And the ganache, wow. If you're a chocoholic, prepare to go to heaven. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.